no better way to start off the new year than with the NBA here on 2K Sports. Our game tonight featuring the Orlando Magic as they go up against the New Orleans Pelicans. Here at their home, the Smoothie King Center, this is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brett Beard. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sideline. Hey, Dave. Kevin, thanks very much. In this era of player empowerment, no aspect is more important than their determination to make sure their voices are heard. As continued cases of social injustice come to light, they refuse to simply shut up and dribble. Get my meaning. Instead, they're using their platform to affect change. Kevin, it's a movement among some very determined players. Much needed indeed, David. Thank you. Now the starting group for Orlando. They've got Mohamed Bamba. Fournier out there with Markel Fultz. Then there's Jonathan Isaac. And it's Vucevic in at the center, locking down the middle. And for the Pelicans, Hart is out there with Ingram. Then it's Holiday. Then there's Favors. And it's Anthony in at the point. Well, the outcome tonight, Greg, could come down to the big men up front. You know, versatility will be key. The front court that can be physical but also pass it and stretch the floor will likely be the victor. And the Magic start out with the ball. Fultz with the ball. Coming off a solid outing against Phoenix. Here's Vucevic. Derek Favors with the rebound. And so it's Anthony bringing it up for the Pelicans. The shot by Holiday, no good. Pass to Fournier. He dishes it to Bamba. Volts kicks to Isaac. And the rejection by Favors. And now the Pelicans on the break. Brandon Ingram at that size able to survey the entire floor and make a play. Volts against Anthony. Pass to Bamba. To the middle. Here's Vucevic. A shot goes in. First of the night. He's one for three to start the game. Yeah, that's a good way to start the game. Nice inside bucket right there. Here's Holiday. Softly drops in the floor. Flawless pick and roll motion there. Executed to perfection by Drew Holiday. Fultz against Anthony. Back to Fultz. Plays it up and banks it in. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Near the three-point line, it's Ingram. Second shot opportunity. Favors can't get it to go. And there's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. And love the mindset of Fultz. If he has daylight to shoot from the perimeter, he shoots with confidence. Favors passes to Ingram. Stolen by Bamba. Holiday against Isaac. That shot missing, and it's the Pelicans taking it the other way. Their last game, a win against the Lakers, looking to carry it into this one. The mental toughness on the road. The arena was rocking, but they just got down to business and never let up. Impressive to see them on the road just step up and have that kind of offensive performance. Here's Fultz. Lays it up off the glass. Fultz has got seven. And the quick feet of Fultz are a problem for the defense, especially when he takes it strong to the hole. And another turnover here by New Orleans. And as much as Holiday brings to your offense, it's his defense that's repeatedly recognized. Well, when you make all NBA defensive teams and you're smart and strong and quick like Drew Holiday is, I think not only does the reputation start to build, but your confidence in disrupting somebody else by playing that way is something you rely on. Fournier's shot is off. Pelicans trail by five. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. To stop the run, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. And one of the more unsung players included in the Anthony Davis trade 
Josh Hart just continues to impress when given the opportunity. A very much high character, hardworking player, and a lot more substance to his game. I also think it's interesting that in that deal, he came along with Lonzo Ball. So the two of them together accepting this new opportunity within the same roles for a new team. Bolts against Anthony. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And although the passes aren't flashy by any means, Nikola Vucevic, a very effective playmaker at the pivot. And Vucevic is very calm when pressed. Reads the defense well and makes the simple but impactful pass. Great in dribble handoffs. It's a big reason he averages almost four assists a game. And he knocks down the first one. Second free throw, no good. And Bones, one of the things you're seeing from Ingram is his improved strength, something he's worked on now for a while. The B.I. has talked about eating six meals a day back in college and still coming into the league at 190 pounds. But eventually, that metabolism is going to slow down. And if you keep putting in that kind of work, the incremental improvements are going to speed up. We've been seeing that from Brandon Ingram. When the player gets a feel for that floater, it can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard them and where your point of commitment is. Nice shot there by Bamba. Yeah, and this is something Bamba does so well. Unbelievable recognition and timing to come up with offensive rebounds. Foltz finds Fournier. Taken away by Holiday. And pushing it up. Here's New Orleans. Holiday is running. Two open that time. Made it look too easy. Hart's got nine. Great start for him. 4-4. Four, four. He could be in for a big game. From 13. Another shot. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. And at almost seven feet tall. Bamba is hard to cover. He's adept at getting these calls inside. The Magic have gone one for two on the night so far from the line. And that one falls for Bamba. Reagan 1991, you were drafted 12th overall. Talk about early expectations as a first-round pick. Your son going through it right now. Yeah, uh, no doubt. Listen, everyone wants to see what you got. And also, you want to prove that you belong. And so, because of that, though, especially in today's game, sometimes judgment comes way too quickly. And we've seen it with a lot of great young players that because they come in a lot earlier in terms of their age, it may take them an extra year or two to figure it all out. And so the teams that are most patient in allowing those kids to mature at their own level tend to be the ones that get uh, the higher rewards. It, indeed. And we see so much impatience, and it causes problems. They get it back. And the dunk by Bamba. And, and how about the nine foot six standing reach Bamba has? I mean, it's unguardable this close. Dunks it with such ease. The pass to Ingram. Sinks it. What range from outside? Wow. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Pass to Bamba. Back to Fultz. Magic moving the ball around. Down to five on the shot clock. Pass to Isaac. Here's the three. Orlando getting another chance here. Vucevic with the bucket. Certainly, Nikola can hit threes, but come on. He's a seven-footer with touch. Those inside shots, they work too. Holiday goes in. And it's slammed in by Holiday. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, why well, settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that?
And now the first time out call here for the match. Well, whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. You got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Smith checked in for Muhammad Bamba. Ross comes in for Isaac. DJ Augustine's checked in for Fournier. And Thomas subbed in for Markel Fultz. Here's Vucevic. Not going to go that time. And it's the Pelicans taking it the other way. Here's Alexander Walker. He's guarded by Thomas. It's stolen by Vucevic. Ross passes to Smith. And Smith with the stuff. Yes. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. And the gamble paying off. Here's Hart. A 17-point game for him in the win against the Lakers. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. This is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. Here's Thomas. Smith trying to break loose. And it's Vucevic. That time on the assist from Thomas. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Passes it to Rab. He kicks it to Reddick. The pass to Hart. That one a little long. Magic leading by four. Augustine finds Ross. And that one good. And they've done the job on the offensive glass. New Orleans gone. Just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Alexander Walker passes to Hayes. Dishes it to Reddick. Pass to Rapp. Outside, Reddick. And another three for New Orleans. I love how Reddick gets it going from distance. Really a tremendous three-point shooter. Outside, Thomas. Takes the 13-footer. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. That's one he knows he should have drained. And Hart has it in the corner. Rebounded by Vucevic. Vucevic has got his sixth rebound on the night. Augustine, that's good. That's their third straight make off an assist. Pelicans trail by five. Alexander Walker passes to Hayes. Here's Alexander Walker. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Lakers in Los Angeles. Hart. Ross grabs the board. And so it's Ross. He brings it up for the Magic. They come into this having outplayed Phoenix the last game. I, I like their aggressiveness in that one. No one's going to give you anything. You've got to go out and take it. Yeah, and going back and watching that game, there was not one spot on the floor that they did not own. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. You want a free T-shirt? in for Hayes. And let's check out a breakdown looking at some of the stats for Drew Holiday.
We've got 128 left in the first quarter of the game. Augustine looking around. Pass to Smith. Inside. Here's Vucevic. Rebounded by Hall. That's the only kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight. You got to stay on top of a guy like that who can play at such a high level offensively. Shots good by Alexander Walker. And now just a one point magic lead. It makes up for a lack of speed with just tremendous effort and hustle on that play. And there's the foul. It'll go on Josh Hart. That's his first foul. That's his first foul. And Orlando has possession. No good from Ross. Here's Hart. A miss that time would have put him up. The Magic shooting 42% to begin this game. Here's Augustine. That one falls coming off of Thomas's feet. And the Magic lead by three. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Here's Alexander Walker, and by Augustine, and the rejection by Smith. They get it back, just five on the clock. Ross with a wide open look, off the mark there with the three-point shot. Here's Alexander Walker, one quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Magic lead by three, and the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. We recently caught up with Drew Holiday, who talked about some trying times. Being able to go through adversity and come out stronger. Um, I think that there was a lot of pressure put on our team um, from outside, and to be able to withstand that, to be able to still go out there and play every day. And Greg, you feel like that pressure never really got to Holiday. Uh, one of the toughest guards in the league, mentally and physically. He's a machine that just keeps on coming, no matter the circumstances. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And what do you guys think about the Magic here so far in this one? Well, they use the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. Yeah, they did a great job. Just the initial thrust of that attack, as soon as they got the ball, constantly in transition. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. So on the floor for Orlando, we've got Isaiah Thomas. Terrence Ross is out there with Smith. Then there's D.J. Augustine, and it's Vucevic in at the five spot. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alden. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Lonzo Ball has steadily improved his three-point shooting. He had to rework his form, moving his windup over to the right side of his body. He said, now my shot is more consistent. We just take it step by step. I'm going to keep working, and hopefully the percentages will keep going up. Guys? I think we've all enjoyed watching his improvement. David, thank you for that. Smith, that's in. Augustine with the assist. Smith's got his second bucket of the night. Oh, I love that dish down low. Pelicans trail by three. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill. It's Reddick on the wing, covered by Smith. Here's Favors. That one goes. Counting. Favors got his second bucket of the game to go. Uh, this is when you start to talk about Reddick not just always looking for offense, clearly looking for teammates there. Now a timeout called by Orlando. Greg, how special was it for you that you had your number 50 retired at UNLV? You know, that's something that I can honestly say. As a kid, you dream about a lot of things. Winning, you know, playing at the, the highest levels. Uh, that's something I never really fathomed is uh, to have your jersey hanging up in an arena. That was a surreal moment, a, a really cool moment, and it was awesome to be able to share it with my family and friends. 
and people probably uh, don't know that you grew up in Las Vegas, so it was probably doubly special, wasn't it? Exactly. Born and raised. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Bamba is checked in for Vucevic. Jonathan Isaac comes in for Ross. Fournier is checked in for Isaiah Thomas. And it's Fultz in for Augustine. For three, Fournier rebounded by Hall. Hall's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Outside Holiday. To the inside. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. Passes to Fultz. And it's off from three-point range. And Ingram has got the ball here for the New Orleans Pelicans. Only given up two points this quarter. And so it's New Orleans with it. Here's Ingram. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. And there are a number of things that make Ingram a dominant force. But what really jumps out at you, the moment you see him, the length. Few wings in league history have had a 7-3 wingspan. And Greg, you combine Ingram's length with his emerging skill set. He has got a long career ahead of him in the NBA. I mean, he certainly has the tool. What we need to see now is the consistency year in and year out. It's one thing to reach that star status. It's another to become one of the true superstars in our league. And good, and it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Fournier's got his first bucket of the night. And the pass to Hall. Back to Holiday. Just five to shoot. On deep. No good that time. And Orlando the other way now. They'll be off next to Utah for a meeting with the Jams. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. And superb at positioning himself on the offensive glass. Bamba's length is a big reason he gets these putback jams. Here's Ingram. Rebound by the Magic. Isaac outside. Pass to Fultz. The time for the ball. Out of bounds, New Orleans will take possession. Let's check out the Eastern Conference standings now that we're in the new year. You look at Orlando. In the early season, they find themselves down in ninth place. And seeing where the Magic are, they haven't attracted any serious attention here in the early season. It's, it's been the kind of average start that most had predicted. And after talking to some of the coaches and the players, they're not happy that they couldn't start off on a little bit more of a roll. But I think they're in fine shape with the bulk of the season still to come. Offensive rebound. Paul, that's good. As a testament to the effort there on the boards, never willing to give up on the possession, finding ways to sniff out the ball. Anthony against Fultz. And he could not hit that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's on Cole Anthony. And the explosiveness of Foltz really is incredible. Just He's effortless in terms of getting where he wants on the court. And he makes the first. Well, it seems like every year, Greg, we see some incredible new players come to the NBA and they are welcome with open arms. Their, their style of play is so terrific. No doubt about it. You know, guys like John Moran, I think he's got a chance to be one of the greats. And any list about the future of the NBA has to include 
Luka Doncic. I, I don't know if there's a better basketball talent than that young man. And, you know, let's not forget about Devin Booker out in Phoenix as well. Terrific, terrific play. Three terrific kids. You're right. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Fultz, count that as his fourth basket of the night. Just seven shots to get there. And I just love when Fultz goes with that floater, showing a desire to add to his arsenal offensively. Here's Ingram. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's on Jonathan Isaac. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that, that's your only option. And this is his second trip to the line in the game gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season how about over 90 percent and the first one drops when you add the length to the skill set that Brandon Ingram brings to every game you really have a tough matchup for any opponent Old free throws, good for Ingram. Well, his body control is phenomenal, and his ability to get to the line has always been impressive. That's a huge part of his game. Outside Fournier. Over Holiday. Fournier's shot is off. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Holiday's got the lead up to four now for New Orleans. Well, a, a longer point guard out there, Drew Holiday, can score close into the rim with that kind of size. It's Fournier on the wing. Back to Bamba. And the dunk by Bamba. Oh, and he, he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. It's tipped. Isaac with the ball. Now guarded by Ingram. Fournier's shot is off. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Orlando, they've gone 5 of 12 from the field here in the second. A baseline J, no good there. Good D by Holiday. New Orleans has gone 0 or 2 from deep here in the second. Here's Ingram, and it's sent back by Isaac. Oh, how about the read from the young fella? Isaac is dependable at anticipating when to go for the block. Well, we're chipping some orange paint off the rim here, guys. He must be more patient on offense and trying to find ways to penetrate inside and get closer to the rim. Ingram kicks to Hayes. Six on the shot clock. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. For three, Ingram gets it to go from beyond the arc. Ingram's got 11. Brandon Ingram at that size constantly has a shooting window that's open. Volts dishes to Bamba. And the dunk by Bamba. That's nice vision there. You see that pass. You make the feed before the defense has a chance to react. And that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Favors finds Ingram. Ingram can't get that one to fall. Even if you're not shooting it, you like to see the effort level. And his tonight has been high. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work timeout, in the timeout. half court. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. checked in for Smith. Ross comes in for Isaac and DJ Augustine subbed in for Evan Fournier. Here's Alexander Walker. Did by Augustine. Hayes the pass to Reddick. 
Five on the clock. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Reddick's got five now. And that set them apart today, guys. Their success with the mid-range. Pass to Bamba. Down low. Here's Vucevic. Good. Score the basket. Mark him four for eight. Shooting 50% so far. Their interior has been inferior defensively. It has got to tighten up. And Hayes kicks to Ingram. Reddick is in the corner. No good on the triple. Orlando trailing here. Here's Fultz. Down through the hoop it goes. That's his fifth make on nine shots from the floor. Yeah, I really admire the edge that, that Fultz gives you. Always looking to score. Feels like no one can guard it. And now let's have a look at the NBA's top snipers. Shooting guards with the highest percentage from three-point territory over the last month. J.J. Redick, number one. And, you know, two guard is where we traditionally find the best shooters in our league, and he's no exception to that rule. I mean, look at the success he's having from three-point range. Back to Fultz. Here's Bamba. Yes, once again, it remains perfect. Six attempts and six hits. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Loss against Ingram. And again, no good by New Orleans. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. Augustine, that's good. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Alexander Walker passes to Rab. Outside, Reddick. Back to Rab. Here's Ingram. That one's off. Still out of sync. With him struggling tonight, they need to find some other options out there to keep themselves in the game. Reddick against Augustine. Shoots. The shot by Reddick, no good. And I'm not sure that is a shot that he should be taking. No, he, he should know better. He knows that's not his game, which is why we don't see him take that shot off. And he gets it to go. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Ingram up top. He's guarded by Ross. Clock at four. Reddick with the three. But they get it there. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And we've reached halftime in this one. Magic out in front, leading by seven. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thanks. Nick, what changed as the first half continued? Uh, we uh, we toughened up a little bit. We know we were, they were getting a lot of easy points, a lot of points around the paint, uh, around the basket, and we just started playing more aggressive, playing hard on the defensive end, and that got us uh, going offensively too. So we just got to keep doing that, play hard, and uh, should be fine. Keeping the paint tight is key. Thanks very much, Nick. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. Markel Fultz was on fire in the first half. He ended up with 15 points, two rebounds, and two assists. And you look at the contributions Vucevic has made over the past few seasons. Hey, big man, do uh, you have him as a top five center? Let me see, top five down to the Embiid, Jokic, Drummond, and Aiton. Vucevic is borderline, but I'd say he's in the conversation. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. Welcome back. The calendar has flipped over, and so have we into the second half of our broadcast. You know, Markel Fultz has been exceptional here, guys. 
Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Pelicans trail by seven. Holiday out there with Anthony. Then there's Favors. Then it's Brandon Ingram. And it's Hart in the three. The small fold. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Well, an outstanding floor general right there. Holiday has switched between point guard and off guard. And a great feel for when guys are open. Hey, Greg, if you could coach one team right now, who would it be? Oof, that's a... Uh, that's a tough one. Clippers, Lakers, Oof. Bucks. Uh, you know what? I, I would probably go Lakers or Bucks because you would have an opportunity to coach someone who arguably might be considered the best to ever play the game because I think Giannis is trending in that direction and LeBron obviously already is. How about a guy like uh, Kemba Walker and coaching the Celtics having him to do what you want to do on the floor? Uh, he'd be brilliant. And, and yeah. Kemba, one of the most underrated leaders in our game. Great, great human being. Isaac passes to Vucevic. And it's Mohamed Bamba with the foul. That's foul number two for him. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And you can see the mindset he has. When the game's this close, he's going to bring it at that end of the floor. Pelicans trail by four. And here's Holiday. Misses off the right eye. Now here's Vucevic. Back to Fournier. Passes it to Isaac. The dish to Vucevic. That shot misses. Some solid defense from Ingram. Now the pass to Holiday. Bamba with the block. The main thing you get with Bamba, imposing defender, shot blocker, alters everything in the paint. The Pelicans have gone one of three since starting the second half. Anthony dishes to Holiday. to Anthony. Shoots over Isaac. But they recover it. Favors surveying the floor. Here's Hart. Favors trying to break free. That shot off the mark. Team starts the second half missing four of five shots. When does the coach possibly call a timeout and reiterate what he talked about at halftime? Pass to Favors. Ingram outside. And they pick up two. Ingram's got 13. That Ingram and that body and that maturation showing off in plays just like that. Holiday against Fultz. To the paint. Here's Bamba. Feeds to Vucevic. Over favors. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Let's take a quick look at the numbers for Holiday. He's averaging 14 points a game, four assists, and two rebounds. And he's done his share of the work for the team, definitely making an impact. Well, the numbers, if you look at them, impressive all the way around, and he's not letting the team down. Free throw drops for Vucevic. Isaiah Thomas is checked in for the match. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. The third quarter has not started well. Just one of four. Anthony kicks to Favors. Holiday against Fournier. Bucket is good. He's got nine. Great job by Holiday keeping his head on a swivel, finding his man with the perfect pass there to finish off the pick and roll. Fournier passes to Vucevic. Back to Fournier, and he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. Good job to recognize the opportunity. That's just very solid offense. The wide open look here for Anthony. A three-pointer, no good. 
And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts. But otherwise, the mindset is, I just got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. Pass to Ingram. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Ingram's got four this quarter. Brandon Ingram showing some toughness that time. That's a strong finish. Thomas down low. Anthony on him. Bamba's shot is off. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's on Jonathan Isaac. Yeah, the defender all over. And this will be his second and third shots at the line here. He's been doing really nice work at the line. 83%. First one falls for him. And the Pelicans making a change here. Hall's checked in. And a switcher also for Orlando. Terrence Ross is checked in for Muhammad Bamba. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Now Thomas. He gives the team some steady offense. A bit under 10 points a game. Passes it to Vucevic. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Hall's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Deep two from Anthony. And that one goes long. Oof, this has been brutal. I mean, he still hasn't made a single shot. No wonder they're struggling. Thomas's shot is off. We've been able to have some team success in this game, despite what's been an awful shooting night for him. Outside Fournier. And the shot goes in. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. It's going to send Drew Holiday to the free throw line. That one on Vucevic. The Pelicans have gone a perfect seven of seven from the line tonight. And taking a look at the numbers on the season, they've converted about 77% of those foul shots. Rabs checked in for New Orleans. Reddick comes in for Anthony. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. And it's Thomas with the ball. He brings it up for the Orlando Magic. A two-point game. Kicks it to Ross. Isaac right side. Tipped away. Reddick with it. Now Thomas defending. And even three-on-three three break. Here's Hart. 15 points in the game. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. Looking to end his cold spell. Count it and the foul. That one is on Holiday. Yeah, outstanding job there of taking the harm and still able to finish. For Orlando, they have gone 6 of 8 from the free throw line tonight. And on the season, you know, they're hitting about 76%, which is a decent rate. New Orleans making a switch here. Alexander Walker's checked in. DJ Augustine's checked in for the Magic. That free throw good from Isaiah Thomas. And it's the Pelicans with the ball. Alexander Walker passes to Hall. Here's Hart. And again, no good by New Orleans. Ross on the wing. The pass to Vucevic. Yes, it is. Or that is a bucket. Number five on a five for 11 night. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Inside, Rab. The shot, no good. Isaac with some nice deep to the inside. Here's Ross. That's in there. Thomas with the assist. Thomas got three assists tonight. And this is right around the time when one team might start to pull away. Yeah, this team is looking to add to the lead, trying to put the other team away and threatening here. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist 
really the key to that entire sequence. Cross on the wing. Shoots over Reddick. No good from Ross. Pelicans trail by six. And Terrence Ross, the wing from Washington, signed a four-year deal with the Magic in 2019. The team loves what he brings as a 3 and D type of player. Here's Rab. No points in the game yet for him. Reddick surveying the D. Offline with his three. And Craig with Ross, he's finally found his role. He's also a great finisher at the rim. You know, he's seen Ross early in his career with Toronto, but he has found a home with Orlando and is playing his best basketball. Knows what's expected of him and how he can help contribute to wins. Pass to Alexander Walker. Out to the right wing. Shot clock at five. Takes the three. Orlando grabs the miss. Vucevic is... His shooting this quarter has to be a huge concern, especially when they're behind like this. Can he find the rhythm? Over to the wing. From deep. Good on that shot. And with that, the Magic lead is cut down now to just five on the bucket from Hart. And not his quarter, scoring-wise. Just one of seven from the field. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. in for the Pelicans. Fultz is checked in for Orlando. Magic leading by five. Pass to Ross. Jacks up a three. Pelicans pull it in. And now the Pelicans on the break. Pass to Alexander Walker. Now here's Hayes. Here's Hart. Great D that time from Vucevic. And that was almost a block. Still did enough to alter the shot. Yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss. That kind of energy not wasted. Fultz is not just looking to score the ball. He also is equally engaged in terms of facilitating for his teammates. A shot by Alexander Walker. No good. Orlando's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4 that bucket in in no time at all and it's a 10 point magic lead yeah draw the d in kick it out for the open shot that's taking a page straight out of your textbook well done yep that one goes in there Mickey recognized the size mismatch no reason to pass out of that just rise up and knock it down now here's Fultz Defense right on him. And the call on the shot. It sends him to the line. And Fultz doesn't fear physical contact. I think that's what makes him special. When he's knife into the rag, he's ready to take on the hit from the defense. That free throw good from Fultz. Bamba is checked in for Vucevic. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Pelicans trail by ten. Alexander Walker passes to Hayes. Poked away. Isaac with the steal. There's the pass to Augustine. Pass to Fultz. 
Back to Augustine. The basket good off the assist from Volts. Volts has got his fourth assist in this one. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. And Hayes kicks to Hart. Pombo with the block. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. It's good on the putback. bomba has got the lead up to 14 now for Orlando. And it's nice to see Bamba finding his groove. When he's in sync, he feels like he can make any shot. And finished off by Fultz. And I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen tonight. Just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball. Smart basketball defensively turning into easy points. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Shot clock at six. To halt the run. And the nice truck it inside from Reddick. Reddick's got ten points. They're able to finish on the drive. Give Reddick a lane and he's more than happy to take it. And so it's the Orlando Magic with a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. They've been playing some ferocious defense. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And, you know, you can always count on him for at least a couple of these pretty assists over the course of a game. And this one, a thing of beauty. Sometimes it happens when the offense is struggling, but every now and then this helps with the offensive uptick right there. Great job of setting his teammate up. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. So on the floor for Orlando, the lengthy bigs inside Isaac and Bamba. E.J. Augustine out there with Fultz, and it's Fournier in at the small forward position. Here's a look at the schedule for the Magic. On Sunday, they'll be matching up against Mike Conley and the Utah Jazz. And then on Tuesday, they'll be taking on Jonas Valanciunas and the Memphis Grizzlies. And for their matchup with the Celtics, they have that date circled. They love to compete, and they feel they can play very well against that group if they can execute. The first free throw is good. That one misses. So Favors will bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. Ingram outside. And this is what dominating the glass looks like. He just cannot be contained. Sort of reminding me of a little Ben Wallace action here from his years with the Pistons. He's been that much of a force rebounding the ball. Pass to Favors. Ingram against Fournier. Pombo with the block. They retain possession. Holiday gets the bucket. Their three-point percentage has taken a big leap here in this second half. Anthony against Augustine. Passes it to Fultz. Orlando needs to get off a shot. Isaac misses. Nobody even close to him, and he can't believe he doesn't knock it down. Two points. That one goes. Anthony's got his first basket. That kind of looks like a predictable shot, one that they want. The defense has to prevent the ball from getting into that sweet spot. And it's Brandon Ingram with the foul. That's his first foul. And Orlando making a change here. Vucevic has checked in. Nikola Vucevic. Isaac outside. 
to the middle. Vucevic to the pick. Oh! oh! And everybody loves a big man that can pass. And, and Vucevic putting his vision on full display there. Ingram against Isaac. And there's the pass to Anthony. Five to shoot. Isaac with the steal. Oh, and here we go. Isaac's got the fast break chance. Pass to Fultz. Now Isaac. Lock at six. Fultz with the ball. Working on Hayes. Basket good. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Fournier against Holiday. Pass to Ingram. New Orleans needs to get off a shot. A three-pointer off the mark. Orlando leading by 16. Here's Isaac. And slam dunk by Vucevic. And you have to reward the big man there. Vucevic, nice job of filling the lane in transition for the finish. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. Definitely not pleased with their rebounding at the defensive end. The, the number of putbacks they've allowed has been terrible. I'm sure that's what he's going to address during this timeout. He's checked in for Hayes. Josh Hart. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Count that bucket. Terrific movement off of the dead ball situation, and a great play to get the bucket. Magic leading by 16. Faults the pass to Fournier. Isaac outside. Vucevic against Favors. Fournier gets a wide open look. The shot's good on the assist by Vucevic. And the Magic lead by 19. Ingram outside. And slam dunk by Ingram. Man, these Kevin Durant comparisons are starting to come to fruition right here, especially when Ingram is finishing with power on the drive. Outside Fournier. Passes to Bamba. Isaac outside. Yeah! Off target with his three. That's a look you cannot pass up. It's also one you should miss. The shot by Holiday, no good. And it's Fultz with the ball for the Magic. Fournier for three. Bangs home the trifecta. Fournier's got six in the quarter. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Anthony down low, guarded by Fultz. Uh, nobody getting a hand in his face in that painted area. That's a miss he's going to be disappointed with. Free throw line jump shot. Fournier's shot is off. Pelicans trail by 20. Deep two from Anthony. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. Holiday against Fournier. Favors with the rebound. Favors has got rebound number 13 with that last one. Ingram up and in on the layup. Ingram's got 19 points. And this is where that length shows off on particular plays like that. Still able to score. Vaults the pass to Fournier. Here's Bamba. He's covered by Ingram. And Bamba with the basket on the assist from Fournier. Assist from Fournier's got three assists now in this one. Here's Holiday, and it's blocked. 
Fournier against Anthony. Fultz with the ball. He kicks it to Bamba. Here's Vucevic. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Derek Favors. They get Derek Favors. And you know, and a seven-footer that can play the entire court. Vucevic is a tough cover because of that versatility. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. And both free throws good for Vucevic. Here's Anthony. Now the pass to Fabers. Out to Anthony. Who's got ball? Who's back up? And Faber yeah. finishes it off. And he's now got the double-double. 11 points and 14 rebounds. Outside Fournier. He feeds it to Vucevic. No good on the shot. Great D that time from Faber. Out to the right wing. Outside Anthony. the block the feed the Fultz and he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed Fultz has got 22 and Fultz isn't bashful inside he feels at ease shooting in the paint here's Hart back to Anthony second chance shot again with the block uh, a defensive stalwart so far that's six blocks Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. And that one's good. Ingram. I'd like to see that as Ingram hits a shot from the mid-range. It's going to open some things up. Volts kicks to Isaac. And that's a foul. It's called on Cole Anthony. That's foul number two for him. Terrence Ross has checked in for Orlando. Terrence Ross. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Fultz. Off target from three-point range. You know, he's usually very reliable from out there, but tonight it's just not going down. Slamming it home. Part of why Favors shoots it so well from the field. Sometimes he just spikes it instead of shooting. Pass to Bamba. Down low. Here's Vucevic. Great D that time from Favors. And so it's Ingram who brings up the ball for New Orleans. Holiday dishes to Ingram. And this is what dominating the glass looks like. He just cannot be contained. Sort of reminding me of a little Ben Wallace action here from his years with the Pistons. He's been that much of a force rebounding the ball. Bamba kicks to Isaac. Another miss by Orlando. Pelicans trail by 16. And here is Ingram. Anthony, the pass to Favors. He dishes it to Ingram. From deep three-point range, Ross grabs the board. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Pass to Fultz. Back to Ross. The basket good off the assist from Volts. Volts has got his sixth assist on the night. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for the Magic. The bench gave him a big lift in this game. Hey, listen, Kevin, anytime your reserves can perform at a level that high, it puts you in an excellent position to win the game. And now, for the year, this is going to take him to seven wins. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, 
and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance from Mohamed Bamba. I just loved his defense. He took pride in swatting away a bunch of shots tonight and made his impact felt. present our New Balance player of the game, Markel Fultz. And I love that it's been a hard-charging performance. Jump shots have been kind of an afterthought. His main goal has been to attack the rim and put the D in some tough spots and also finishing strong. I don't think anyone in this building saw this coming. I'm sure that of the players who these fans thought would beat them, his name was not at the top of the list. And I like the subtle adjustment he made to create a little space for that one. Yeah, that's an awesome finish there for sure. Not allowing that big guy to have his way or, or alter the shot. Long kicks to Augustine. Over Walt. Augustine, no luck. New Orleans gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here on the fourth. Alexander Walker passes to Walt. Here's Alexander Walker. Misses in close. 36 seconds left in the fourth. Clark outside. Pelicans pull it in. Here's Alexander Walker. Slammed home and they call the foul. He's headed to the strike for one more. No clue how he got that one to fall. Orlando Hughes. First personal foul, teams first. Shooting one. Walton against Augustine. And so it's Orlando taking this one by a big margin. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Nick, great win tonight. Good performance by you. How surprising is it that you contributed to the game in so many ways? I, mean, I, I wouldn't say it surprised me. I always knew I could play at this level. But um, I, just, you know, I just play hard, you know. I just uh, play hard and get things happen. You know, I, just, I don't try to force anything. I just let the game come to me. And I play hard, you know, it rebounds. Like I said, it's a lot about effort. That's what I can do every night. And points are going to come some night. Sometimes they won't. But just take what I get and uh, just keep playing. Well, you did it all over the floor tonight, Nick. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Fred Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan, along with our 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in. See you next time.